Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jesse Mayfield Chi, and I am coming to you live from Downs Field in Brookline, Massachusetts. Here to bring you live coverage of today's high school varsity girls lacrosse contest between the visiting revolution of Acton Boxborough Regional High School and the hosting Brookline High Warriors. As you can see from uh, the scoreboard clocks, they got a fancy bigger scoreboard this year. Here with Brookline High Girls Lacrosse Week. Only got a few minutes left before we get this one underway. We are starting a, a little later than initially planned. Uh, you know, it's a it's a long drive out from Acton Box, bro. So hope you can forgive taking a little time. But this is going to be the start. Well, not the the start of a season, but the st uh, the home opener for the Brookline High Warriors, their first home game of the season. They uh, had their first game of the season last week, last Thursday, on the road at King Philip. Suffered a 15-5 loss, but they're hoping to bounce back here at home against the Acton Boxborough Revolution. Brookline coming off a year where they went 12-6 in 2023, finished ranked 20th in Division I to secure a spot in the playoffs and came up just short in the round of 32, almost secured an upset against 13th-ranked Natick, but ultimately fell 11-10. Got about two minutes left, so you know what? I'm going to see how far I can get through the rosters. Introduce him here for the new season. So here we go, our first introduction of the 2024 Brookline High girls lacrosse team. Going in order of jersey number, first off, we have a sophomore defender, number two, Sylvie Costant Greeley. Next, a junior defender, number three, Sydney Bueno. A junior defender, number four, Sasha Harwin. A sophomore defender, number five, Scarlett Rothstein. A junior defender, number six, Sophia Liu. A sophomore attacker, number seven, Amalia Lindgren-Palm. A sophomore defender, number nine, Elin Lindgren-Palm. A junior attacker and midfielder, number 10, Birdie Hawkins. A freshman attacker, number 12, Lily Kleinbaum. A sophomore attacker, number 14, Priscilla Hill. A senior attacker, number 15, Ayla Cohen. A sophomore attacker, number 16, Clara Tebow. A sophomore attacker and midfielder, number 17, Maya Schwartz. A senior attacker and captain, number 18, Piper Kelly. A junior attacker, number 19, Maggie Tien. A senior goalie and captain, number 25, Kaylin Karain. And a senior defender, midfielder, and captain, number 28, Abby Cooney. Head coach of the Brookline High girls lacrosse team is Juliana Malloy. And remember, folks, as always, uh, if I am uh, messing up the pronunciation of anyone's names over the course of this broadcast, I encourage you to correct me either in the law, either in the live chat or by sending me an email. You know, I want to get these players' names right to give this the best coverage I possibly can, and that extends to both Brookline and Acton Boxborough fans. I encourage audience participation, no matter who it is you're rooting for. If you want to simply say, uh, go Brookline or uh, go Acton Boxborough, or if you want to shout out your favorite player, maybe you're tuning in to watch a family member or a friend, or maybe you want to let us know where you're tuning in from. Sometimes we hear about people tuning in from different states or occasionally different countries, and that can be fun to hear about. And then on a more important note, uh, if you notice any technical difficulties with the stream, if, uh, the, if the video is not coming in well or if the audio sounds funny, you know, it, it might sound fine in my own headset, but it might sound funny coming through on the broadcast. So 
If you notice something, I encourage you to speak up and say something. And like I said, you can either do that through the live chat, or if you're not comfortable with the live chat, you can send me an email, which you can see in the bottom right corner of your screen. Okay, we got captains meeting at midfield to decide uh, directions. Uh, so while I've got a little bit of time, let's see how far I can get through the Acton Boxborough roster. Since we got through the whole Brookline roster, let's go through the roster for the Acton Boxborough Revolution. Going in order of jersey number once again, first off we have a sophomore, number one, Maddie Chase. Another sophomore, number two, Lila Epperson. A senior, number three, Ashley Fitz. A sophomore, number four, Ryan Tomlin. A sophomore, number five, Lindsay Lammy. A freshman, number six, Sarah Smith. A senior, number eight, Kat Holtz. A freshman, number nine, Hannah Richman. A senior captain, number 10, Alexis Thermidor. A senior, number 11, Shannon Patrick. A senior captain, number 12, Caroline McBride. A senior captain, number 13, Sophia Shumilova. A freshman, number 16, Charlotte Wren. A freshman, number 20, Nora Cataldo. A freshman, number 21, Chloe Kivella. A sophomore, number 22, Victoria Thermidor. A freshman, number 24, Talia Redmond. And uh, someone who didn't have a uh, jersey number determined on the roster, a freshman, Maddie Myers. Uh, team manager for Acton Boxbro, a sophomore, Solena Chandra. And head coach of the Acton Boxbro girls lacrosse team is Rob Donaldson. So we managed to get both teams' full rosters read out before getting this game underway. Teams just getting their sticks inspected prior to the game. Ah, okay, I just uh, <laughs> Googled something real quick. It turns out I had uh, the system of periods incorrect because uh, they changed the rules this year. It's no longer two 25-minute halves for girls lacrosse. It is now four 12-minute quarters. So we got our first year playing girls lacrosse with quarters instead of halves this year. Makes for some slightly different pacing. For those of you who get to watch from the comfort of your home, it is, uh, it is a little chilly out here. Temperatures in the mid 40s, which isn't too bad, but uh, Got a significant, uh, very noticeable wind chill blowing through here at Downs Field. So it may be spring, but uh, still, still a day where I wish I'd brought a pair of hand warmers. Can't help it, I have, I have very sensitive fingers.
I mentioned Brookline's results last year. Acton Boxborough last year had a 10 and 6 regular season record. They finished 12th in the Division I power rankings, securing them a spot in the tournament. And they defeated Needham narrowly in the round of 32, 10 to 9, before falling to fifth seeded Reading Memorial in a close game in the round of 16, 12 to 11. Got set up for our opening draw here in the first quarter. Brookline and Acton Boxborough here in the home opener for Brookline here at Downs Field. Here we go. The opening draw is juggled and ultimately picked up by the Revolution. That is number 12, Caroline McBride, who picked that one up, and it's knocked loose from behind. Maggie Tian and Bertie Hawkins with a double-teaming defense, and Hawkins recovered the loose ball and is running with it. Floats pass up. Finds her target. I believe that's number 16, Clara Tebow, who then throws it ahead to Priscilla Hill. Hill gives it over to Abby Cooney now, and now over to Hawkins. Hawkins floats it over as they start working their way around. Brookline just looking for a proper opening as they've got things set. Hill coming across the top. Looking, it's not there. Passes away. Now approaching Piper Kelly. Hits a wall. And did she draw a penalty? I think Piper Kelly drew the penalty there, but a bit of an awkward angle for a free position chance. And so she's going to pass it back towards the middle. Pass was interfered with, and that's another penalty against Acton Boxborough. And now Abby Cooney setting up with a chance for the first goal of the game. Good angle here. But they got to make sure everyone's in their proper place. Charging in, shot is off. I think it was kicked aside by the goalie. Might have gone off the post. Either way, unsuccessful for Brookline. They're trying to recover the ball, and they caught a, another foul called against Acton Boxborough. So Brookline maintains possession as Sophia Liu tries to pass. It gets away from Sasha Harwin, and it's going to bounce out of bounds. So an unfortunate turnover for Brookline as they're unable to capitalize on the free position chance. Acton Boxborough running it the other way. Charging in, a shot is in. That first goal of the game scored by number 13, Sofia Shumilova. And Acton Boxbro takes the one nothing lead. Just ran up with it, took advantage of the Brookline turnover on the defensive side. Sprinted up and got it past Corain for the game's first goal. 1-0 Acton Boxborough leads. 9.38 on the clock here in the first of four 12-minute quarters. Back to the draw. Snocked towards the Brookline end. And another foul call. Good battle for the loose ball by Sylvie costing greeley as she passes it up to Bertie Hawkins. Hawkins gets hit, and that's going to be another foul call against the Revolution defense. Hawkins throws it across to Cooney. Cooney moves up with it. Now floats a pass up to number 12, Lily Kleinbaum, as Brookline now starts working it around the horn. This pass intercepted. Acton Boxborough takes it back the other way. Off a nice takeaway. Now they're sprinting up with it fast. Pass to a wide open, and it's saved point blank by Kaylin Corain. 
Number one, Matty Chase was all alone, one on one against the Brookline goalie. And Corain prevails for a nice save. Corain looking for somewhere to go with the pass. It is bouncing away. And Kleinbaum picks it up off the ground and throws the pass ahead across midfield to Kelly. Kelly now running up with it and runs into the corner as Brookline gets set. Can Brookline take advantage of the nice save by their goalie to possibly tie this game up on this possession? Hill coming around the back, gives a pass. Hawkins coming out of the back and scores! Bertie Hawkins with Brookline's first goal at home of 2024. Let's take a look at the replay. You can see Hawkins noticed a lack of defenders covering that inside corner and took advantage. Hawkins assisted by Hill ties us up at one apiece. Seven forty eight on the clock here in the first quarter. Setting up for another draw. And we got a false start that's going to be called against Tian, and so they give the ball to Acton Boxborough's Charlotte Wren. Wren sprinting with it, looking for where to go. Pass it across to McBride. McBride pass over to Shumalova. And now Acton Boxbro works it around the horn. Pass goes out to number 10, Alexis Thermidor. And now up top back to McBride. McBride looking, approaching, and we got a whistle, presumably against the Brookline defense. It's going to be a free position chance for Caroline McBride. Potential scoring angle here. They get everyone in their proper spots. Here we go. McBride shot. Turned aside by Crane, but the rebound picked up. Wren missed the shot wide. And Brookline gets possession off the out of bounds. Another strong stop by Kalen Crane. Crane long pass is complete to Cooney. Cooney throws it ahead to Hawkins. Juggled. And she recovers it. Hawkins running up with it. Cutting spins. Nowhere to go. And now slowing things down. Hawkins throws it across to Kleinbaum as Brookline now starts working it around. Pass is completed up top to Hawkins. Hawkins cutting across, one-on-one, -on -one. lost her footing as she tried to spin, and it's taken away by Acton Boxborough. That one taken away by number three, Ashley Fitz. Pass, lost, and now it's taken back by Kleinbaum. Kleinbaum, pass across to Tien. Tien trying to get around the defender. The double team comes. Tien jukes away from one and just slows things down behind the net. Tian gives to Hawkins behind the net now. Now over to Kleinbaum. Throws it up top to Tebow. Move it out to the left. 
and start working it around the horn. Trying some cuts towards the net, but the Revolution defense not giving them any good looks. As Hawkins and Tian just playing catch here, waiting for one of their teammates to get a good look. Hawkins around the back, looking, and a foul on Acton Boxborough. Now a chance for Birdie Hawkins. Could potentially score her second goal of the day. Whistle. Hawkins comes in, shoots, and finishes. Birdie Hawkins with her second goal of the day gives Brookline the 2-1 to one lead. You see on the replay just the patience she has. Faked low, came across, and went high. Two to one, Brookline leads Acton Boxbro here on the first quarter. Four minutes and 18 seconds on the clock. We've been seeing some very strong defensive play here in the first. Right now, Brookline holding the slight advantage. Tian against Wren back in the draw circle. Chasing after the draw. And they give it to Kleinbaum. Kleinbaum running with it. Still moving it up. And now slows it down. Kelly's pass intercepted. McBride swooped in and took it away. Acton Boxbro has shown a penchant for cutting off those long passing lanes. McBride throws it up top to Thermidor. Now over to Wren. Pass over to McBride as McBride directs traffic from the top. Starts to approach, jukes out a defender, charging in, shot is in. Caroline McBride fakes out her defender and finishes at the net. We're all tied at two. Three fourteen on the clock here in the first. We go back to the draw circle. Tian versus Ren once again. And we got a whistle. And they're going to give it to the Revolution. Ren running up, pass up to Thermidor. Now across to McBride. Now a long pass as they work it around. This chase coming out of the back, flips it over to Ren. Ren. Off the switch, tried to juke, but it wasn't quite there. And pass away to number 22, approaching, floats a pass up and finds Thermidor who throws it off the post. It was a great pass and a nice catch and shoot, but threw it about the one place she couldn't throw it as it goes off the post. 
the Thermidor sisters, Victoria number 22 and Alexis number 10 almost connected for the go-ahead score there, but instead it'll be Brookline ball. Pass gets up to Hawkins. Hawkins surrounded on all sides, but manages to break through. Running up, pass up, shot. Missed wide from Kleinbaum, but Brookline there on the back to maintain possession. Tebow holding the ball, now gives it over to Kleinbaum. And now back to Tien. Cross to Kelly. And back to Tien as Brookline looking for their opening. Thrown up top to Kleinbaum. Kleinbaum charging in, fighting through, and drew a whistle. Willie Kleinbaum now with the free position chance. We've seen mixed results from both teams on their free position chances as this one is going to be assessed uh, a yellow card to number 24, Talia Redmond. Kleinbaum with a pretty good scoring angle here. We'll see if the freshman can get her first career home goal. Long shot bounces in. Lily Kleinbaum, her first career goal at Downs after getting her first career goals last week against King Philip. She opted to go for a longer shot instead of charging all the way in and managed to skip it past the goalie, giving Brookline the three to two lead with 1.10 left on the clock here in the first. <laughs> Off the draw. It's being juggled. And it's ultimately picked up by Acton Boxborough. McBride running with it. And slows things down. 50 seconds left here in the first period. Brookline with a slight 3 to 2 advantage over Acton Boxborough thus far as a long pass collected by Alexis Thermidor. Throws it up top now. Wren, looking for somewhere to go, gives it back to Alexis Thermidor, and then back up top to Wren. Wren fakes out a defender, now floats past to a cutting Alexis Thermidor who finishes. Alexis Thermidor off the assist from Charlotte Wren. Ties us up at three apiece with 14 seconds left in the first quarter. Looks like Acton Box Bros now got McBride in the draw circle against Tien. This one high up in the air. McBride's got a beat on it, but struggles to pick it up. And instead it's taken by Tien. Tien able to run up with it, pass, and not enough time to get one last attack off. And that is how the first quarter will end. Our score at the end of one. Brookline three, Acton Boxborough three.
And it's been a true back and forth contest. Stockton Boxbro got the game's first goal, scored by Sofia Shumilova to go up 1 0. But then Brookline answered with two goals by Bertie Hawkins, one of them assisted by Priscilla Hill. They went up 2 to 1 as a result. Then it was Caroline McBride who tied it up for the Revolution on a free position goal. Brookline answered back with a free position goal of their own by Lily Kleinbaum. But then it was Alexis Thermidor tying it up on a goal off the assist from Charlotte Wren. And that has us where we are right now. So I'm going to take a brief minute, take my headset off while we wait for the second quarter. I'll be right back. All right, that quick break is over. We are ready to resume with the second quarter of this game, all knotted up at three apiece. Two teams switch sides, or do they switch sides? Yes, they do. Okay, there was a brief bit of confusion. It is it is a new year with new rules. Teams got to get used to uh, to the four quarters arrangement that is new this year. It'll be Tian against McBride once again in the draw circle. Straw up in the air. Bouncing around. And ultimately picked up by Alexis Thermidor. Thermidor throws up top to McBride. As... Acton Boxbro looking around for their options. This is Victoria Thermidor. The ball on the far side. Got that pass missed. Was trying to connect with Lila Epperson, but it got away from her. And the turnover gives the ball to Brookline. Kaylin Corain looking for an outlet. Completes the pass to Sophia Liu, who gives it back to Corain. Now Corain a long pass, complete. And now another long pass, this one finds Tien. Tien running up with it. Pass across, misses. Intended for Hawkins. That one got away, still in bounds, lost out of bounds. And it looks like it's gonna stay with Brookline.
Brookline working around the back. Pass from Hill to Tian. Now over to Kleinbaum. Out to Cooney. Cooney back to Kleinbaum. Now a long pass from Tian out to Tebow. Back to the top to Hill. Hill gives it back to Tebow. And then back to Hawkins. Hawkins starting to charge. Cutting back. Pass inside to Hill. Lost it. Stolen away by Alexis Thermidor. Passed up to Wren. Wren running up with it and gets to keep running after the foul call. Still running. Pass through to Shumalova. Shot saved by Karain. Loose ball ultimately recovered by Epperson. Another nice save by Kalen Karain, but Acton Boxbro still with possession. Wren with the ball. Pass across, and Thermidor threw it off the post again. Alexis Thermidor, her shots just seem to be magnetized to that post as that's the second time that she's missed off the bar. Now Thermidor trying again, pulls back, gets almost around her defender, but the help was there. Pass gets away from the target. It's intercepted. Running it the other way is Hawkins. Hawkins successfully gets Brookline on offense. Now they work it around the horn. And we've got a whistle. Not quite sure what's going on here. Oh, it looks like we got an offsides call. Now we resume play. Hawkins from around the back. And it looks like she drew the foul call. So Hawkins with another chance out of the free position. She's scored one of her two goals so far out of the free position. Bit of a tough angle to score from. Let's see what she tries here. Charging in, shot, bounces over the bar, but is recovered behind the net by Tebow. Brookline stays on the attack. Kleinbaum throws to Tien in the corner. And now they work it around the back. Hawkins looking. Runs around, and I think she drew another foul. Hawkins resumes play, works around the back. Gives to Tian, throws up top to Tebow. Now back to Kelly. Kelly flips pass over. Looking for somewhere to go, breaking through the shot. 
bounce is high and is recovered by Victoria Thermidor. Shot just missed, but Brookline applying some forward pressure as the ball rolls out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Brookline. Priscilla Hill with some good forward pressure there to force the turnover. Thibault gives it over to Kelly and then over to Hill. Around the back, they work it. Brookline's gotten a couple extra chances here on offense. Can they take advantage? They go for the ISO play. TN cutting across, trying to weave through, and the ball was knocked away, taken away by the Revolution. Running it the other way for Acton Boxborough, number three, Ashley Fitz. Passes it up to Epperson. Now McBride. McBride still surveying. Starts to charge, flips a pass, shot was saved, but I think we might have a foul call against Brookline. Or Indeed, this will be a free position chance for Victoria Thermidor. Whistle, shot, save. No, not saved. It is scored by Victoria Thermidor. So both Thermidor sisters with a goal so far today, and Acton Boxborough now takes the 4-3 to three lead. Four minutes and seven seconds. It took almost eight minutes before our first goal of the second quarter in what has still been a very strong defensive matchup between the Warriors and the Revolution. Tian and McBride back on the draw. Up in the air, knocked down. Wren had it for a second and draws the foul as Tian tries to take a swipe at it. Wren running up with it. And a foul call on Brookline. And Wren just going to try and take advantage, keep charging, spins off her defender, forces the shot, wasn't there, but does draw the foul. Charlotte Wren, who's got one assist so far today, will now get a chance out of the free position. Running in, shot, missed it wide. As it bounced out of bounds, it'll be Brookline ball. Lou passes it over to Crane. Crane stepping behind the net, looking for an outlet. Throws it over to Lou. Lou gives it back to Crane. Crane still looking. Floats one across to Lou once again. Lou now running up with it. Pass it back to Sydney Bueno. Bueno being pressured by a couple Revolution players. Still running with it. Pass up the line. Complete to. No, lost it. Taken away by the Revolution. Number six, Sarah Smith takes it away for Acton Boxbro. Running with it. Pass up, finds Epperson. Epperson tried to throw it across, but it was intercepted by Corain. Epperson felt she didn't have the angle for the shot, tried to go for one extra pass, but Corain read it well for the takeaway. Now Hawkins in transition. Gets across midfield, throws a pass up to Tian. 
And it looks like we got another offsides call, or or was that a timeout? Looks like we got a timeout called with a minute 47 left here in the second quarter. Acton Boxborough leads Brookline 4-3. to three. And we've really seen some strong defensive play from both teams here today, especially here in the second quarter. Less than two minutes left to play in the second, and only one goal has been scored between these two teams here in the second period. Certainly got to give... A lot of credit to both goalies, Kalen Corain for Brookline and number 88, Ash Berry for Acton Boxborough. But also the defenders around them have been doing a good job not giving the best looks to the opposing offense. Out of the timeout, it will be Brookline ball. As the Warriors start to work it around the back. Pass juggled a bit, but it is collected by Kleinbaum. Kleinbaum throws it back to Hill. And then over to Tian. Tian surveying, waiting for someone to cut open. Throws it across the back to Cooney. Cooney coming out of the back. Still looking for somewhere to go. Simply floats it up to Hawkins. Hawkins approaching. Pass across to a cutting Tian and Maggie Tian ties us up at four. Maggie Tian off the assist from Bertie Hawkins. Let's take a look at the replay. You can see Tian cutting across swiftly leaving her defender behind and Hawkins with the good eye to find her for the assist. 38 seconds left before halftime and we are tied at four. Off the draw, it's low. They're still struggling for it, and it's picked up by Shumalova. Shumalova over to Alexis Thermidor, and then over to Victoria Thermidor. Thermidor cutting across, looking for a shot, and it found the top of the net. Victoria Thermidor with her second goal of the day and Acton Boxbro responds in a matter of seconds.
Five to four, the Revolution lead. 16 seconds on the clock here in the second quarter. Just one goal through most of the second period and then two goals within the final 40 seconds. Looks like Brookline's going to swap in Abby Cooney to take the draw. Off the draw. It's collected by Cooney. Cooney. Running with it. Got to move fast. Less than 10 seconds. Pass gets up to Tebow. Tebow running up with it. Charging in. Got to fire a shot. They don't have time. And time runs out. It is now halftime here at Downs Field. Our score at the half. The Acton Boxboro Revolution 5. The Brookline Warriors 4. During this halftime break, I'd like to take a moment for a local charity spotlight. I'd like to tell you about the Brookline Food Pantry. The Brookline Food Pantry provides groceries to Brookline residents in need of food assistance. The pantry saw a huge increase in demand for food assistance at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, and that number has remained steadily high ever since. The food pantry has been serving an average of 650 households each week, more than four times the rate of families served pre-COVID. Brookline Food Pantry is fighting the good fight against hunger in our community, and they are always looking for more people willing to lend a hand, whether through monetary donations, direct food donations, or volunteers in the pantry. Food donations can be made at United Parish at 210 Harvard Street in Brookline on Wednesdays and Fridays from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Monetary donations can be made online at the Food Pantry's website, brooklinefoodpantry.org. Go online or call 617-800-5339 for more information about how you can volunteer and help feed your community. Once again, that's brooklinefoodpantry.org or call 617-800-5339. And you can find that website and phone number down in the description section down below. Well, it is halftime, and uh, I'm going to take a moment, take off my headset. But I will be back with the third quarter of play. Stay tuned.
All right. About a minute left on the halftime break clock here at Downs Field. Once again, I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan coming to you live from Downs Field in Brookline, Massachusetts. Here to bring you live coverage of today's high school varsity girls lacrosse contest between the Brookline High Warriors and the Acton Boxboro Revolution. Right now the visitor is holding a slight one goal advantage here in Brookline's home opener. Goal scoring so far, Acton Boxboro led by two goals from Victoria Thermidor and one goal each from their three captains, Alexis Thermidor, Caroline McBride, and Sofia Shumilova. For Brookline, they are led by the efforts of Bertie Hawkins, who has two goals and one assist, while Lily Kleinbaum and Maggie Tian each have one goal, and Priscilla Hill has one assist. It's been a tight back and forth contest so far. And a relatively low scoring affair. We'll see what the second half has in store. A fresh 12 minutes on the clock for the third quarter of play. And here we go, balls straight up in the air, bouncing, and it's given to Acton Boxboro. Charlotte Wren running up with it. She had one assist in the first half as she gives it over to their leading scorer, Victoria Thermidor, and they start working it around the horn. Maddie Chase holding it behind and a uh, brief pause as an extra ball had rolled onto the field of play. And now they resume. Shumalova throws it up to Alexis Thermidor. Now Wren charging in, looking, looking. Walled off, turns around. Still looking for somewhere to go, throws it up top to Alexis Thermidor. Thermidor's pass blocked. And it was knocked down by Sylvie Costant Greeley, picked up by Abby Cooney. Cooney throws it back to Kaylin Corain, who throws it out to Sophia Liu, who juggles it a bit, but now picks it up. Starts moving, trying to move it in transition. Draws a foul and passes it back to Sasha Harwin. Harwin throws it across to Sydney Bueno. Bueno pass up to Costant Greeley. And another foul as Costant Greeley able to keep it moving. Throws it up to Piper Kelly. Kelly works it around the back. Brookline now working it around themselves. Pass gets to, uh, misses a cutting Hawkins on the turf. They're fighting for it. And they give it to Brookline. Hawkins moving around the back. Gives it across to Kelly. Now they work it outside, up top to Cooney, who gives to Tian. Cross Kleinbaum. Kleinbaum. Nowhere to go. 
Gives it over, I believe, to Hawkins. Hawkins cutting across. Jukes out a defender, approaching and is fouled and will get a free position chance. Hawkins charges in. Shot was saved by Ash Berry. Berry, quick outlet pass taken off the bounce by Wren. Wren sprinting it up in transition gives over to McBride. Caroline McBride running, sprinting, shot was, shot did not count as they blew the whistle for a foul beforehand. Potential lucky break for Brookline if Kaylin Corain can stop this free position chance for McBride. McBride shot is in. So the whistle at first seemed like it might take a goal off the board for Caroline McBride, but she does finish out of the free position for her second goal of the day. And Acton Boxborough takes the first multi-goal lead for either team in this game. It's the only time a team has led by more than one goal all day. Eight minutes and eight seconds on the clock here in the third. Off the draw, bouncing towards the near side. And McBride couldn't pick it up. It's picked up by Hawkins. Hawkins settles at the top, gives over to Tian. Tian over to Kleinbaum and around the back to Kelly. Brookline working it around the horn. Now Hawkins. Gives over to Tian. Tian spins off a defender, charging in, and ran out of room, but it seems she did draw a foul. So they will reset the play from the free position. No real angle to shoot from here, as instead she just throws it along the back to Hawkins. Hawkins. And we got another whistle. I think that's gonna be another foul against Acton Boxborough. Play resumes, quick pass juggled and lost. Intended for Tian, but Tian does chase down and recovers it. Tian floats it over to Kelly and back to Tian. Now cutting across, Kleinbaum draws a foul. Kleinbaum out of the free position. Bit of a tough angle, bit of a tough distance. Long shot stopped by Barry. 
Ash Berry with a couple of big saves out of the free position. Her outlet pass knocked down, intercepted briefly by Hill, but she lost control of it. Bouncing along, it's scooped back up by Berry. Berry tries another outlet pass. This time it's complete. Pass juggled by Alexis Thermidor, but she recovers it and passes up to Shumalova, who lost the ball. Now it's picked up by Harwin. Harwin's running it the other way for the Warriors. <laughs> Harwin runs it up to the attack area. Now turns around, throws it back to Hill. Brookline resets on the offensive end. Long pass across to Tebow. Now down to the corner to Kleinbaum. And around the horn they go. Hawkins off a pick from Tian, nowhere to go. Tries again. Spins, pass inside, juggled and lost by Tian. Would have had a golden chance there. It's picked up by Kleinbaum. Kleinbaum tried to rush in and draws a foul. Kleinbaum, virtually no angle for a shot here. Rushing in, cuts around, shot, missed wide. Brookline had it covered around the back, and it will stay with the Warriors for now. Pass goes up top to Tebow. Now over to Tian. Three minutes left in the period as that pass lost, intercepted by Shumalova. Shumalova running in transition. Passes up to Alexis Thermidor. Up to Wren. Wren. Gives out, lo uh, almost lost, but it is recovered by Victoria Thermidor. <clears throat> Along the back. And ball was lost, but a foul was called on the Brookline defense. Free position chance for the Revolution. Quick pass deflected away by the Brookline defense. Big deflection by Kleinbaum on that pass intended, I believe, for Shumalova. They pass along the back. This is Chase. I know it's a little hard to see. And a pass up, could not connect with McBride, but it's recovered by Alexis Thermidor, who quickly cuts around a defender and draws another foul. Free position chance for Alexis Thermidor, charges in, shot, bounces in. A three goal lead now as Alexis Thermidor becomes the third multi goal scorer for the Revolution. They go up seven to four. A minute, nine seconds left here in the third quarter. There's a few sparse raindrops are falling out here at Downs. And I'm just really hoping the intensity of that rain doesn't pick up. Back to the draw circle. 
Taken off the bounce by McBride. Throws it up to Alexis Thermidor. Thermidor floats a pass to McBride. McBride shakes out her defender. Shot is in. Caroline McBride, the first to reach three goals today as Acton Boxborough now leads by four. Four unanswered goals by the Revolution dating back to the closing seconds of the second quarter. They now lead Brookline by four. Off the draw, off the bounce, it's taken by Kleinbaum. Kleinbaum rushing up with it. Lost the ball, but drew the foul. Kleinbaum setting up in the free position. Free position's been tough to score on this game. Kleinbaum resetting the play pass, finds Kelly. Kelly's pass disrupted and missed wide. Barry looking for somewhere to go, pressured by Tian. Barry finally throws a pass, knocked down by Brookline, but that is going to end the third quarter. Brookline held scoreless in the third period as Acton Boxborough extends their lead. Our score at the end of three, the Acton Boxborough Revolution eight, the Brookline Warriors four. Goal scorers so far. For Acton Boxborough, Caroline McBride leading the way with three goals, while both Thermidor sisters, Alexis and Victoria, have two goals each. And Sophia Shumalova has one goal. I have Charlotte Wren with one assist. For Brookline, Bertie Hawkins, two goals, one assist. Lily Kleinbaum and Maggie Tian with one goal each, and Priscilla Hill with one assist. Still one quarter left to play, but the Brookline offense after scoring three times in the first period, they've been held to just one goal through the last two periods. They're gonna have to find some way to get things going on offense. As Acton Boxbro is pulling further and further away. Fresh 12 minutes on the clock, one last time for the fourth and final quarter of regulation. Here in this high school varsity girls lacrosse contest. Acton Boxbro leads Brookline eight to four. Off the draw, bouncing to the four or side, and ultimately scooped up by McBride. Quick passing, gets it up to Wren. 
Wren throws it up to Victoria Thermidor. No opening there, she resets, throws it inside, missed, taken off the bounce by Bueno. Bueno trying to move in transition, surrounded, and a foul is called. Bueno quickly passes it back to Karain. Karain pass over to Lou. Lou. Back to Karain. Karain draws another foul. And this pass misses, taken away by Victoria Thermidor. Pass up quick, and looks like a foul is going to be called on the Brookline defense. That was number 21, Chloe Cavella. Trying to move towards the net. Now she'll be operating out of the free position. Cavella long shot stopped by Karain. Karain's outlet pass complete to Cooney. Cooney back to Karain. Floated back out to Lou. Lou lost the ball. Knocked loose by Shumalova. Rolls out of bounds. And it'll be Brookline ball. Here we go, Brookline. Now back to Karain. Karain throws it up, finds Costant Greeley. Costant Greeley runs it across midfield. Keeps moving and gets fouled. Pass goes up to Hawkins. Now Brookline works it around. And I think we do we have an offsides call? Okay, now play resumes. Or, oh no, now it's Acton Boxbro ball. So after the violation by Brookline, Acton Boxbro moves the ball in transition. Long pass up, finds Wren. Wren floats one over, finds Alexis Thermidor, who scores again. Three goals now for Alexis Thermidor as Acton Boxborough now leads by five. Charlotte Wren with her second assist of the day. Nine minutes and six seconds left to go here in regulation. Revolution now lead by five. Off the draw. Picked up by Alexis Thermidor. Thermidor over to McBride. McBride over to Shumilova. Now up to Wren. Wren. Pass back out, and we got a whistle. It'll be a free position chance for the Revolution for Alexis Thermidor. Shot bounces over the bar and out of bounds. 
Bueno takes the ball for Brookline. Let's pass up, intercepted by McBride. McBride charging in and scores. Caroline McBride with her fourth goal of the day off that takeaway. And Acton Boxborough reaches double figures. Eight oh one on the clock here in the fourth. Acton Boxbro leads ten to four. Draw knocked down and Scooped up briefly by Kleinbaum, and they call the foul on Wren, so Kleinbaum gets to take it. Kleinbaum running up with it. Gets to keep moving with it. Pass out now to Hawkins. And now they work it around. Hawkins over to Cooney. Back to Hawkins. Hawkins lost control of the ball and it's taken away by McBride. Pass goes back to Barry. Barry, long pass out to an open Alexis Thermidor. Now up to McBride. Long pass, finds an open Shumalova, charging in. Pass across, juggled but collected. Extra pass out, missed, and picked up by Hawkins. Thrown up to Tien. Tien running with it. And keeps running with it. Breaks through the defense, charging in herself, and gets fouled. Maggie Tian now with a chance out of the free position. With just over six minutes left and her team down six. And I think there was some kind of violation on Brookline. They blew the whistle before Tian even got her shot off. Her shot did miss either way. And so it will be Acton Boxbro ball. Long outlet pass gets up to Victoria Thermidor. And now pass bounces away from Alexis Thermidor. Hard collision over the ball and they give it to Brookline. Harwin passes back to Costin Greeley and now over to Hawkins. Hawkins takes off running with it. Gets across midfield, throws it up to Hill. Hill running and draws a foul call. Hill. Jukes around one, but didn't have a good angle to shoot from, and so pass back out to Hawkins as the play resets. About four minutes and 40 seconds left in this one as Brookline works around. Coming out of the back is Cooney, but is met by Alexis Thermidor. Pass out to Kleinbaum. Kleinbaum harassed from behind, and it's a foul. Kleinbaum. OK, 
Okay, we're going to try that one again. Kleinbaum passes it over to Hawkins. Hawkins coming around the back. Back and forth they move it. Hawkins coming around the back and draws another foul. Three and a half minutes on the clock here in the fourth. Acton Box Pro leads 10 to 4. Hawkins charging in. Shot is in. Hawkins with her third goal of the game. Just charged in and shot high and finished. Ten to five, the score. Three minutes and 27 seconds on the clock. And off the draw, it bounces towards the Acton Boxboro end, but we got a whistle giving the ball to Brookline. Hawkins sprinting up field with it. Pass to Hill. Hill missed it wide. Brookline maintains possession as Kelly gives it over to Hill. Across the back to Hawkins. Tebow throws up top, disrupted, but recovered by Tebow. Tebow floats it over to Kelly. Kelly, nowhere to go. So they work it around the back. Hawkins trying to come back the other way. but nowhere to go. Quick pass misses Kleinbaum, but she chased it down. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in this one. Kleinbaum around and lost the ball, got fouled. Einbaum now out of the free position. Looking around, shot bounces in. Lily Kleinbaum with her second goal of the day. Once again, working that bounce shot. Ten to six now the score. Two oh six on the clock here in the fourth. So Brookline, after surrender, surrendering six unanswered goals to Acton Boxbro, they've now scored two unanswered. Draw is controlled by Wren. Wren runs it into the attack area. Pass up top to McBride. Acton Boxbro now just going to hold on to the ball and run out the rest of the clock unless Brookline is able to take it away. McBride coming across the top, throws it over to Alexis Thermidor, over to Victoria Thermidor, and around the back they lost it. Pass missed Kivella, and now Brookline gonna run up with it. Minute 20 on the clock.
Perrine trying to avoid the forward pressure and look for an outlet. Pressured by Kivella and a foul committed by Kivella. Karain throws it up. Couple quick passes and it's knocked out of bounds by Acton Boxbro. Brookline's got less than 40 seconds left. Try and make one last push. Kelly are running up with it. Kelly, pass up. Extra pass to Kleinbaum, just barely knocked away and she couldn't get the shot off, missed it wide. 20 seconds left. Tien with the ball now. Calls for a pick. Comes across, fires a shot, and we got a violation with 11 seconds left. It appears Tien will have a chance out of the free position for one last goal. Charging in, shot is in. With nine seconds left, Maggie Tien scores her second goal of the game. Brings Brookline to seven. And that'll probably be the last goal of the game with just nine seconds left on the clock. Off the draw, ball bouncing around, picked up by Hawkins, but that is going to do it. The final seconds tick away, and that is your final. Final score out here at Downs Field, the Acton Boxboro Revolution 10, the Brookline Warriors 7. It's close back and forth contest through the first half, but Acton Boxboro pulled away with a strong second half effort. And while Brookline was able to finish with three unanswered goals, it was not enough for a comeback. Final individual totals. Acton Boxborough led by four goals from Caroline McBride, three goals from Alexis Thermidor, two goals from Victoria Thermidor and one goal from Sofia Shumalova. Charlotte Wren had two assists and a strong day in net by Ash Berry. For Brookline, Bertie Hawkins led the offense with three goals and one assist. Lily Kleinbaum and Maggie Tian had two goals each and Priscilla Hill had one assist. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Remember, if you enjoyed this live stream, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all my upcoming live streams. Be sure to uh, uh, be sure to check out the description section of the video where you can find a link and phone number for our local charity spotlight, the Brookline Food Pantry. Um, and then below that, you can find some helpful links about me that you can also see on the bottom right corner of your screen. My personal website, jessiesports.com, where you can find out more about me, the freelance sports broadcasting services that I provide to various teams, and how you can commission those services for your favorite team. Or if you want to skip past all that, you can email me directly with any questions or requests you may have. And remember to follow me on Instagram, where I post highlights from previous live streams, as well as the stream links for upcoming live streams. But for this live stream, that's going to do it. Final score, Acton Boxborough 10, Brookline 7. From Downs Field in Brookline, Massachusetts, I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night.